Hello, I'm Jill at Invit, and today uh, we have a lesson on Easter and what's it all about. So, if um, if you're in a country where Easter is celebrated, you will already know a lot about it. Um, but maybe if you're not an, in an English-speaking country, this will be useful for you to know the vocabulary connected with uh, Easter in English-speaking countries. Uh, you may be in a country where Easter isn't celebrated, so this is also designed to explain the background, uh, some of the history connected with Easter, and um, all the, the sort of traditions and the things that people do uh, to celebrate Easter, um, and if you're in, for example, if you're in the UK, you will notice that every every spring around March or April, there is an Easter holiday where there are two public holidays. Uh, the schools have two weeks holiday. Uh, so you'll be aware of this Easter holiday period. Um, so this is designed to, to explain some of the background to it. Okay. Um, so, it's a bit of a mixture, but going back hundreds of years, um, before Christianity, for example, um, I think people celebrated the coming of spring after the long, cold winter. So, it's a kind of spring celebration uh, when, you know, the flowers start coming out and blossom on the trees and, and so on, uh, blossom... Um, if you have fruit trees like an apple tree or a cherry tree, they get flowers appearing on the tree, either white or pink. So that's blossom. And then the flowers that grow. Uh, so, um, and uh, little animals, often um, animals are born in the spring. Um, they're, they're born all year round, of course, but uh, in particular, um, spring is associated with little animals being born, like little chicks um, that come out of eggs, little yellow fluffy birds, tiny little chicks. Uh, they are associated with Easter, uh, as well as flowers. Rabbits as well are associated with Easter. And eggs, because eggs are about uh, things being born or re rebirth, the rebirth of the of the season, uh, the spring coming back after the winter when nothing seemed to grow. Um, so people, you know, people generally feel happier and better when he's, uh, when spring comes because the weather gets warmer. Of course, it depends what part of the planet you're on. Because I know um, March and April in somewhere like um, Brazil, for example, um, it's it's not it's not your spring period. Um, but um, I think people still celebrate Easter at that time of year anyway. Uh, but in the in where we are in the UK and also North America, um, it is the spring. Uh, so it falls in March or April, and people send cards sometimes that say Happy Easter, and you, you get pictures of flowers and little chicks and rabbits and eggs. And um, so the eggs, they can either be real, you know, chicken eggs, hen's eggs um, from birds, or they can be chocolate eggs. So the shops, of course, shops sell eggs all the year round, real eggs, uh, but also chocolate eggs. A lot of them are sold uh, just before Easter. In fact, usually uh, the shops being very commercially minded, as soon as Christmas is over and um, January comes, uh, you start to see chocolate Easter eggs in, in the supermarkets, which it's a bit early in January, but that's what the shops are like. 
So um, you get chocolate eggs. And also, um, in the UK anyway, I'm not sure about other countries, you have um, a sweet uh, a bun with fruit in it, which is called a hot cross bun. And it's a, it's a round, not a cake exactly, it's more like bread, but it's quite sweet. And it has a, a cross on it in a lighter colour. So it's a dark brown or medium brown colour when it's baked in the oven. But it has a whiter coloured or cream coloured cross on it, which connects with uh, one of the religious um, associations that Easter has, which we'll come to a bit later. Okay, so all of these things are associated with Easter. Um, also, there's a thing called an Easter bonnet, which is a hat. Um, usually women, they might have a hat and they will add a lot of flowers to it and decorate it with ribbons. They might even put little, not real ones, but they might put little um, chicks on it, little yellow birds on it. Not, not real ones, not live ones, but um, artificial ones. Um, and um, there's a song um, and a film, I think, connected with this Easter bonnet. And people might have a parade in the street. They, they have a competition for who, who's wearing the best Easter bonnet, and somebody can win the competition. So um, that can happen as well. And all the flowers and chicks and everything are still associated with the Easter idea. And another nice thing about it is that uh, we get two days holiday uh, at Easter. Um, so they're, they're official public holidays in the UK um, and I think in some other countries too. Uh, we have a Friday, and then, of course, Saturday, Sunday, that's the weekend, and then we have the Monday, so we have a four-day weekend, basically. Um, the Friday is, called, in the religious um, um, terminology, uh, the Friday is called Good Friday, and the Monday is called Easter Monday. Okay, so... Um, Friday, there's a tradition that people eat fish on Good Friday. Uh, some people eat fish on Fridays generally all through the year as well, but uh, Good Friday particularly, people might uh, decide to eat fish rather than meat. Okay. Uh, but then um, Easter Monday, or possibly the Sunday, Easter Sunday, uh, people will have a meal, which is often a roast turkey or chicken or um, some sort of meat or lamb uh, with with vegetables. It's a bit like the Christmas meal or a Thanksgiving meal in America. So it's a big meal with meat and vegetables uh, because people have more time over that long weekend. So either Easter Monday or Easter Sunday, they will have that meal there. Okay, so nowadays Easter, it, it's still partly religious. It comes from some religious ideas connected with uh, Christianity. Um, but also people just think of it as, as a... You, you can, if it's not religious, the opposite of religious is secular, meaning just ordinary, everyday life, non-religious. So secular just means not, not religious. So. Okay, no, no connection with religion is secular, just ordinary life. Uh, so, um, in Christianity, um, Jesus was executed. Um, he was uh, killed on the cross, the crucifixion. 
okay? So, um, and that happened, that is connected with this Good Friday. That's supposed to be the date that coincides with that event, the crucifixion, um, the execution on the cross, okay? Okay, so, um, but then in the Bible, um, after the crucifixion, on the fr if that was a Friday, then Jesus was buried, put in a tomb, um, but two days later, I suppose on the Sunday, that would be the Sunday then, Easter Sunday, uh, that comes in between here, um, he, um, miracul there was a miracle um, um, some two women went to the tomb, but they found that the tomb was open and there was no body inside. So um, uh, they, they thought, well, somebody's stolen uh, the body, but then somebody came to them and said, he, he's not here, he, he's risen meaning he's gone up to heaven, um, okay? Uh, so he, uh, th there's this idea of the resurrection, um, which means to rise, so to sort of still be alive really, but to go up to heaven, not dead anymore, but al alive, but gone to heaven. So um, that's called the resurrection coming back to life in a way, but going up to heaven. Uh, so that was seen to be uh, a miracle, you know, something that can't really happen usually uh, in, in normal life. Um, so that's always been celebrated as a very important event in the Christian religion, and which is why we have Good Friday connected with the crucifixion, and then Easter Monday, not sorry, Easter Sunday in here, which coincides with the resurrection. So Easter is a celebration of, of that. Um, but uh, it's also connected with the, with the Jewish religion, um, the Passover, uh, which was much, much earlier um, with the what's called the Exodus, of the Jewish people from Egypt, um, who they had been taken to Egypt uh, as slaves and um, made to work there as slaves, but they wanted to get back to their, their own land. So this exodus meant meaning coming out of Egypt, leaving Egypt, going back to uh, their own country, uh, was another kind of miraculous event, really, how it happened. Uh, so that sort of happened around, it, it's sort of connected with the same religious festival at the same time of year. Uh, so there is that connection too, which is much older than the, uh, the, the crucifixion and resurrection story. Okay, so that's the religious side. It's all a bit complex. But um, apart from the religious story, which a lot of people still believe in, um, there is the secular, non-religious side of Easter where, you know, a lot of working people just think, oh, great, we get, we get two extra days off work, which if they're on a salary, you know, they are paid holidays. Uh, so to have two extra days at, a, at the weekend and have a four-day weekend, it's quite nice if, if you're a, a working person and you've been working hard, it gives you a break from your work. And also for children at school, um, they get two weeks because it, it, it's made to coincide with them um, with the terms, the three terms of the year, and where the term begins and ends, um, one term ends before Easter, 
then there's a two week break and then the new the summer term starts after Easter. So school children and colleges and universities as well uh, have a longer Easter break. Uh, but I know sometimes they're having to study for exams and the teachers are having to prepare their lessons for the following term. So uh, they're still probably doing some work during that period. So, um, and then finally, just to say that there, there isn't a fixed date for Easter. It's not like with Christmas in the UK, it's always the 25th of December. But with Easter in, in any Christian country, whether it's Western Europe or Eastern Europe, or North America, Australia, New Zealand, etc., um, the the Christian church decide when the date is going to be each year. So it could fall in March or April. Um, there's a sort of a whole month, a four-week period where Easter could fall. And it's quite complicated because it's to do with uh, the full moon and the equinox uh, the spring equinox when um, the the night is the same length as the day, so the length, the time that it's dark, the number of hours of darkness equals the number of hours of daylight. So that's the spring equinox and the moon. So it's different every year, and that's why Easter falls either sometimes in March, sometimes in April. So um, so there we are, quite a complicated subject, but one that we, we experience every year in one way or another. And uh, children love the, uh, especially the chocolate eggs, adults as well love the chocolate eggs, uh, anything connected with chocolate. And people love mostly the food, um, having a nice big meal on Easter Sunday maybe or Easter Monday, meat and vegetables and, and so on and just relaxing and hopefully enjoying nicer weather by by that time of year. So I hope that's been a useful background and perhaps you've learned some new vocabulary as well. So please go to the website ingvid.com where there's a quiz to test you on the subject. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.